to finish us up this week the conclusion of the don't tell mama sports podcast what everybody's been waiting for for at least a month you know things happen during the season so people have been waiting for many months to vote on this it's the 2024 don't tell mama nba's biggest douchebag of the year max we had seven juicy candidates tell people tell people the results Go Breezy. Do we should we just name the results right now, or do we want to name uh, the contestants and then name the rankings, or should we just contestants? Contestants. Yeah. Okay. Everybody. Yep. Uh, not in any particular order. Here are the contestants for this year. So we had Patrick, all inclusive Cancun vacation, Beverly. We had Josh Young, wild and free, Giddy. We had Draymond, where's my money, Green. LeBron, baby back, bitch, James. We have Anthony, abort mission, Edwards. Jante, bet your bottom dollar, uh, uh, Porter, sorry, Porter. And Anthony, glass bones and paper skin, Davis. Now, this was a juicy, juicy battle, Cole Breezy. Uh, we've had this vote for about four weeks now. And it's time to announce the winners. Uh, it's time to announce the winner. Uh, do we want to give a shout out, Cole Breezy, to last year's winner? got to give a shout out to Ja, Suns Out, Guns Out, Morant. He was the 2023 Don't Tell Mama NBA's biggest douchebag of the year. You know, he he's 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 rapping along in the in the car with with his gun with him. He's out here in in Denver at Shotgun Willie's getting getting head with his gun with him in the back of the club. And you know, <laughs> he's hosting pickup games at his house and getting in fights with teenagers and you know, there's an incident in the Indianapolis Pacers parking garage with the attendees there. So John Morant was acting like a freaking douche last yeah. year. He, oh, he yeah. won the award. But like I said, could be a redemption season for John Morant next year. Could be redemption. <laughs> look out. Look out, 2025. Lot of juice stored up. Lot of juice. But yes, Max, can you get us in to who was the seventh place? player for the 2024 don't tell mama nba's biggest douchebag of the year yes in seventh place it was anthony glass bones paper skin davis not many votes go breezy can you believe it or not only two yeah. only two that that's a shout out there uh apparently a lot of people would disagree well you'll, you'll see who wins everybody that was the majority of the votes but go breezy can you tell us a little bit about uh anthony davis here I think people just feeling sorry for Anthony Davis didn't didn't want to vote for him. You know, not not the, not really a big douche. He's just hurt all the time. He's just a little soft. You know, he Michael Porter Jr. hit him hit him in the paint. Did nothing nothing crazy nothing crazy. And he went down like he got sniped from the balcony, holding his shoulder, holding his fucking face. He just he just spends a lot of time on the floor. He spends a lot of time rolling around, flopping like a fish. And you know what? Maybe he's injury prone. Maybe not. But damn it. He's he's made a glass skin or glass bones and paper skin for sure. Seventh place, <laughs> Anthony Davis. All right. Moving on to number six. And I think people just don't really know the name, but there's a big reason why he's on the list, uh, Cole Breezy. We have Jante Betch, your bottom dollar porter. Cole Breezy, tell us about this guy. This douche. Yeah. Tell, tell us about this douche. Yeah, Jante Porter is a huge douche this year in the NBA. And like you said, people probably just don't know the name. Probably, people probably just don't know the name, but I believe he is the first and only player to ever receive a lifetime ban from the NBA for, for betting on games, for giving out information on certain games to betters, to uh, minimizing himself in games. He went out with an illness in one game. He went out with an eye injury in another game to hit his unders on his points and rebounds so he wouldn't go over. So... Jante Porter betting on the game, lifetime ban. You're a huge douche, and you should have deserved more votes. Yes, agreed. Agreed, Cole Breezy. All right, at number five, we have Anthony Abort Mission Edwards. Ooh, this is a juicy, controversial one. Cole Breezy, can you uh, explain what happened here? Yeah, uh, Anthony Edwards, he uh, um, allegedly impregnated a model a week after his current girlfriend came out and said she, that she was also pregnant. So it was a Zion Williamson situation all over from the year before. Shout but, out, uh, shout out, another douchebag, another douchebag nominee. Shout out. <laughs> the, the model Paige Jordan sent text messages, released the threads with Anthony, Anthony Edwards saying that she was pregnant. Ant-Man told her to get an abortion, wired her a hundred K. She showed the pictures of that. So 
you can't tell somebody to get an abortion. That's their own decision to make. Anthony Edwards is a huge douche for that. But damn it, he's one of the faces of the league coming up next. Mm. No doubt. No doubt. All right. At number, uh, sorry, at number four. Ooh. At number. Oh, sorry. Yep. At, uh, sorry, I lost my place. At number four, <laughs> we have Josh Young, Wild and Free Giddy. Ooh, Josh Ooh, Giddy. Yeah. He was one of the first guys on this list this year. He was allegedly involved in an improper relationship with a 15 or 16 year old. Now, depending on what state you're in, I guess it doesn't matter, but most states it does. Over in Australia, where Giddy's from, it's only 16. But not sure how old the young lady was. Bunch of red flags to me that her and her parents did not cooperate with authorities. It was kind of just brushed under the rug. Josh Giddy never was suspended, never had any comment on the situation. Josh Giddy fucking little girls, that 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 ain't cool. Not cool, Josh Giddy, and you're a big fat douche. You're a big fat douche because of it. All right. At number three, we have top three, top three, top three here. Here we go. Here comes Ooh. the countdown. Here it is. Uh, we have Patrick all inclusive Cancun vacation. Beverly. <laughs> Pat Beverly always bumping his gums. You know, he's, he's in Indiana. The Pacers are smacking him about to send him home in game six. It's a Bucks timeout. We get in a huddle as a team, you know, one, two, three. Defense, one, two, three bucks, one, three, one, two, three team, whatever you want to say as the team. Allegedly a Pacers fan, a couple rows behind the bench. He shouts out one, two, three, Cancun, Cancun, one, two, Cancun on three, one, two, three, Cancun. And Pat Beverly, he, he, he gets offended by that for some reason. He gets a basketball. He chucks it at the guy, smacking an innocent lady right in the face, wasn't even looking. Okay, you know that fucking hurt. Pat Bev asked for the ball back. The guy... Gives it back to him only to, for him to fire it right back at the guy. Ridiculous Pat Bev. And then he he doesn't let the ESPN reporter interview him after the game because she wasn't a subscriber to his podcast. Definitely was in his own feelings right there. Indianapolis police were looking into the matter. Pat Beverly, you're a douche for that. Yeah, what a big douchebag, a cocky douchebag at that too. And when you threw that ball back at that dude that was in the stands yelling Cancun, he caught the ball. Yeah, right? yeah he, he caught, caught it. it. All right, he so a, it. a little harder next time, Patrick Bev. Yeah, yeah. yeah, guys from Indiana, they got good hands. They got good hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at number two, here we go. Ooh, here we the go. Runner up. Countdown. The runner up the runner is up, baby. LeBron, baby, ah. back, chip, bitch, James. <laughs> What a douche! What I've a always, douche. I, I thought, I just real quick, Cole Brazy, I thought LeBron has been a douche since probably 2012. All right, so I, I this long is a long-awaited a douchebag. <laughs> long time coming for you for sure. There's no debate of his greatness. He was the number two player for the Don't Tell Mama top ten a couple weeks ago. Go back and look at that. Nobody's going to debate the Finals MVPs, the rings, all-time scoring leader. Nobody's going to debate the stats. He's going to be 40 in December, still putting up these numbers for Pete's sake. But damn it, the way he bitches and whines and cries. And yeah, like you said, he he really started that free agency movement where, you know, there there's no loyalty. There's not much rivalry in the NBA anymore. People switching teams. And yeah, the, the referees, the officials, they're going to miss calls. They're going to miss calls every game, every quarter. Things are going to get missed. It's all about the angles, baby. LeBron. You're ridiculous for taking this so personal, going crazy. I mean, we've got all the videos right here. Just crying so much. That's why he's in this category and runner up for yeah. the 2024 NBA's biggest douchebag. Oh, uh, not to mention not uh, also Cobrazy, the flopping. Oh my goodness, the flopping. I, it just is such a I, it's such a douchebag move. It's such a baby back bitch move is to it, just flop on it, the floor, not even being touched. There are videos of him not being touched and he hits Ridiculous. the floor like he got bitch slapped by his mama I'll <laughs> i will tell you right gloria now. gloria bitch slapped him <laughs> i'm gonna tell you right now you changed the game for the worst lebron james because of what already cobrizi brought up and all play, all these players are flopping now. We have college athletes flopping. We heard that there's uh, there's floppers in high school. There's floppers in middle school because they saw what you do on the court, just being oh, a yeah. baby back bitch. So 
I wish he, I wish he won, but he actually didn't get my vote, so it don't matter. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's go to number one, shall we? In case you didn't yes, know sir. already, it is Draymond. Where's my money, Green? <laughs> Wow, Draymond Green, a candidate last year. You know, he came up just short. I don't know where he, he ranked last year, but he was just short of John Morant. This season, he comes back. He's a douche again. This time, wins the award. He starts off. The, the latest the la latest instance was with Yusuf Nurkic of the Phoenix Suns. Mm -hmm. You know, Draymond's posting up, and he's trying to get position, and flails back with a spinning closed fist, nails Nurkic right in the face, damn near fucking knocking him unconscious, okay? He was suspended indefinitely from the team for that, was away for three, four, five, six weeks, I think. But before that, just a month earlier, I think, he there's an altercation with the Minnesota Timberwolves that ends up with him putting Rudy Gobert in a fucking headlock, dragging him across the floor. Where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> This is this is after he stomped on DeMontis Sabonis in the playoffs last year. And we all remember how he kicked Steven Adams in the fucking nuts, right? <laughs> Square in the nuts. So, you know, I, I bring this up every time how there's never any retaliation. No guys are going back at Draymond. No teammates are stepping in. I don't know if people are scared of Draymond. I don't know if he's a big bully in the league. But damn it, he's definitely the 2024 Don't Tell Mama NBA's biggest douchebag of the year. The most votes ever in this. I mean, we've only had it for two years. So, yeah, a record in votes. Congratulations, Draymond. Where's my money, Green? You are such a big douchebag. And and quite frankly, I, if we did a vote for biggest douchebags in the history of the NBA, Draymond, you might very well be in it. Uh, I you know I understand shit talkers. Okay, I get it. NBA. Oh my god, everyone's mouthing off to each other. Oh, the entire gums game. Are bumping. So gums always are bumping. gums are bumping. But this guy not only bumps gums the entire game entire game well apparently he uses his fists to bump other Dude. people too yeah. and his feet to kick people in the nuts and uh Thank yeah you. putting people in choke holds and you know like come on man come on, come on. like it, it's it's so frustrating because you know kids are watching this game you know kids are watching these games and you're putting guys in choke holds and kicking people in the nuts and smacking them yeah. across the face dude this guy sucks, and I can't. I, I'm actually excited for him to get out of the league because the league is better without Draymond Green. Definitely getting a little salt and pepper there, but the four-time NBA champion Draymond Green just added a little bit more hardware to his collection. 